Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. Okay, so we're going to start off with Megan Thee Stallion. So I got back that Megan Thee Stallion, if she had not fallen out with the baby, okay, and if he didn't have his issues with Danny Lay and Mimi, all that baby mama drama, she would have given uh, the baby a chance. I got back that they always used to flirt and, you know, they liked each other. They had, you know, a chemistry, you know, offset and onset, you know, out the booth, you know, and in the studio. So she always thought like maybe, you know, we could be something. But then that whole situation happened with Tory Lanez. And, you know, he's in the media. He's on the shade room every other week because of Danny Lay and Mimi. And she doesn't want any more, you know, ex-baby mama drama. Because she used to date Money Bag Yayo. And he has a bunch of kids. Now, I don't know how many baby mamas he got. But he has a bunch of kids. And also, right after she dated Moneybag Yayo, um, she moved on, but Moneybag started dating Ari, and Ari cannot stand Megan Thee Stallion. For whatever reason, she doesn't like Megan, even though Megan didn't do anything to her. So, I don't know if she's just jealous of Megan. I don't know if Moneybag... Uh, uses Megan in arguments, but she can't stand her. Moving on to Nicki Minaj. I got back that the reason why Nicki was not on the Pop Smoke album is because she felt like, you know, they were profiting off of his death. Okay. Now she means the label. This is his second album being released without him really being here. And I guess she just felt bad about it, okay? So she decided not to be on his album, okay? Because they did reach out. Um, and when it came to, you know, Juice World, she had more of a personal relationship with Juice World because she went on tour with him. You know, she doesn't really have a personal relationship with Pop Smoke or anybody that really knows Pop Smoke other than DJ uh poof so with that being said she just felt guilty about it okay plus you know they didn't really pay people the first go around for the album when his album shooting for the stars got released last year it came to features most of the features on the first album after he passed were free okay they didn't really pay a lot of people and they tried to get drake on the album too but Drake didn't want to participate for whatever reason. Anyway, moving on to Chloe Bailey. I got back that she doesn't really feel like Normani's new single is going to be successful. That's what she's thinking. She don't think that it was a good comeback single. I'm surprised she didn't show any fake support. I was actually very shocked about that. Instead, she went on Instagram Live and and her sister said that Have Mercy was the single of the year. And it's not. The single of the year is Seeing Green, okay? Uh, and there's nothing Chloe Bailey could put out that will ever top the big three. I also got back that, you know, Beyonce really wasn't too impressed by the song either. But we got to understand that Beyonce is from a different generation. So, you know, she may not be impressed with any of the music that is being put out nowadays. But from what I hear, she wasn't impressed by this new single. I don't know how she's going to be impressed by Have Mercy because that song don't sound too much better. But we've only heard a snippet. So we got to give Chloe, you know, a full chance. Moving on to The Weeknd and Drake. Um, Drake does want to collaborate with The Weeknd. He's been trying to collaborate with The Weeknd uh, for years. You know, they did a song together a while ago called Crew Love. And then he was on The Weeknd's album. But they had fell out twice. 
okay? Not just once not just once, but they fell out twice. And the weekend really don't mess with Drake right now. Okay. And he's really not interested in doing a feature with Drake if a bag is not involved, a big bag. So he's not going to do a swap unless they have a conversation. And I'm pretty sure they will in the future. I mean, I know the weekend got some sort of grudge on Drake, but I'm sure they can move forward in the future. Now, someone wanted me to speak about what's going on with Katy Perry, okay? Well, the reason why Katy Perry's career has been on the decline is because, A, you know, she got involved with the whole Kesha, Kesha situation. If you guys remember that Kesha and Dr. Luke situation, and they don't like when you talk about certain things that happen in the industry, okay? Um... I've already heard that they were going to say something to Lady Gaga about her little interview that she did a few weeks back. So that was the number one thing. Then, you know, she started talking about politics. They were like, oh, this is not a good idea for you, Katie, because you got a lot of Caucasian fans. Okay, she started talking about women empowerment, uh, you know, politics, and, you know, she started vouching for Hillary Clinton, and it really wasn't a good look, okay, because of her fan base. And then the last straw for her was really, um, you know, the whole Nicki Minaj situation when, you know, they sent out those memos. It said to a lot of people, you know, don't collaborate with Nikki. She still put out the collaboration. So did Fergie. I wasn't really expecting Fergie to really care. I really wasn't expecting Fergie to care because it seemed like Fergie didn't really want to be in the industry like that anyway. But Katy Perry did her own thing. You know, she was like, you know what? I'm going to put out the feature anyway. I messed with Nikki. And they were like, okay, you can put out the feature, but it ain't going to be a hit single, okay? It don't matter how much money you put in the video and how great the video is and how much you get for a budget. We're not going to push the record and we're not going to push your album. And then that kind of caused Katy Perry to kind of go into a, a depression, which she admitted because people were calling her a flop afterwards. And so now she's more focused on family and basically I believe she's out of her contract with Capital anyway. So she might go independent or sign with a new label. But the point of the matter is she wasn't following what they told her to do. You know, they gave her several warnings and she decided to do her own thing. So when you decide to do your own thing, you're basically telling them, okay, well, I'm going to be, you know, insubordinate or I'm not going to listen. So I like Katy Perry. I don't really listen to her music like that, but I do think that, you know, she had a good run. And, you know, if she puts out some more music, I would support it. She had that one song on her last album. I forgot what it was called, but I think it's like Kawaii something. And I thought that song was was good so anyway like comment and subscribe to the channel make sure you turn on post notifications and i hope you have a great day